Hello again. In this video we will be discussing extended memory. So let's get started. Each extended memory file can hold over 10 billion 73 million registers. In the interest of time I went ahead and created a project here. Uh, don't have a driver. Uh, you can find the extended memory settings and system parameters under the extended memory tab. By default the USB disk radio button is usually checked. If there is no media installed in the device then the value will always remain zero. So in our example we're going to go ahead and use USB disk. I've got a uh, CMT 3090 here. So it could be either one, uh, SD or USB. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Then when I go to add objects, like a numeric entry, if you notice when you pull this down, you've got EM0 through 9. So that's 10 files times a billion registers that's a lot of memory you could add so and of course that would depend on the size of your um, media device also so we're gonna uh, start out with a numeric entry for EM0 go ahead and put it there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a project download Now she's all finished and uh, here I'm going to go ahead and bring it up on uh, CMT viewer so here's our numeric entry object and you can see the it's got a value of 0 I'm going to enter in a value of 100 and you see there it holds it. Now these are uh, retentive registers that can be added. They can be formatted in any way except for binary. Bit objects cannot access this memory. If you'll see here there's no way to get to the extended memory. Now you can use macros and um, store uh, bit data in it as a BCD value and then use a macro or a data move to move that that data into into a bit register within your HMI here like you can move the value to say RW0 and then RW bit 0 through 15 would enunciate that value that's about all there is to it Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.